All right, let's do this. Not the best start in the world, actually. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take those two. I just want to see what's gonna happen. I'll take you. I just want to see what's gonna happen. Just buying those items on the sale, maybe, just maybe, just might be a play, potentially, hopefully. And for the last item, we're gonna get you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. This is a shitty start. If I win, I'd be super happy. But th there's no way we actually win this, right? What? We actually win that? Okay. I am super happy. Um, gimme, gimme, reserve, roll for it. Uh, uh, was low key. You know what? I'm selling you. I don't care. I'm selling you. Give me both of these. Give me both of those. And then we'll do boom, 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 and then boom. That works for me. And then we'll buy that. Okay. The start has turned around. That health potion last game really did save us. It really did save us. We should win this. This guy's got no weapon. No weapon at all. The only thing you can, you can beat us in freaking fatigue mode, but that's really about it. But there's no way. We're going to get infinite empowerment because you're just not doing damage to us. Not to mention poison. Good game, though. Let me get you, 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 roll, space, massive, and another b -nance. This is starting to be a pretty, pretty solid game. I'm not going to lie. Pretty solid game. We're probably just going to do this. Honestly, that's way better. Nice. That's being connected. All those are in. That's looking good. Probably going to run out of stamina here, but at least this person doesn't have a shield, so that's good. And they barely have any items. Speaking of, imagine we still lose. There, no, there's no way. There's no way. Goober's not going to save you, my friend. The Goober's not going to save you. Good game, though. Um, Give me a combo. Nice. Boom. Give me. And yes, give me big space. I will definitely be taking a big space. And we're going to buy you. We're buying all three of these items next round, which is going to be 10. So we're just, we'll probably just buy these two. Honestly, honestly, dagger, you know. Now nah, we're going to get extra gold from the piggy bank. So we'll buy dagger and a helmet. That's uh, that's a little bit better, I think. Um, And we'll do boom, boom. And then we'll, well, actually, we'll do that. Actually, no, we won't do that. We'll do this. Or even better, we'll do this. Or even, can I make this even better? I don't, I don't think I can. We're like, that's there. And then, oh, no, yeah, I can. There we go. <laughs> I can make it even better. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I feel like we're ahead of all the bills we fought so far. We, our bills, our deck has just been better. We've been getting lucky with shop. I'm be honest. We've been getting kind of lucky with shop. Five empowerment. He's got nine poison on him. Healing's not going to save you, my friend. Those two regenerations are not going to save you at all. We're going to get hum humbled, though. The game always finds its way of humbling you, right? Um, Honestly, bro, I'm about to sell this pig just to make space. We'll do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. How much money are we get? 10 next round? I want... Uh, should, well, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to just sell you. I'm going to just sell you. I'm going to just sell you. I might have regrets, but I don't care. I'm just going to sell you. Um, I wonder if it's better for me to, like, move this down and then utilize this space here a little bit more effectively within this item in particular potentially maybe maybe not maybe not really don't know yet don't know yet probably just gonna do this or that or not that or that's probably better okay oh mind you okay we're gonna we need to buy ruby egg it needs to be bought next round please give me space on top of that but yeah, the, it's good. Getting that ruby egg early is actually really, 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 really good. Hopefully, Dagger can put in some work with this empowerment. Getting this extra DPS is... That's the only reason I got you, honestly. Just to have you for... Utilize you for the extra DPS in combination with the empowerment to do a little bit more damage. A lot of it. A lot of it more damage, right? Okay, we're buying you. Huge investment. I know that you're going all the way up there. And we're probably just going to do something that i don't know of yet maybe do this because i want the i want these to go in there because that's even more damage right building up all that empowerment stones can utilize that the dagger can utilize that like like overall it's just a massive w all the way around you know what i mean so yeah um i'll just put you there i guess and then uh we'll do this i feel like that's the best items that i can put in places we got helmet stamina dps combo empowerment Oh, that's looking good. Ooh, this guy's got a pretty solid build. Double freaking bag of stones. He's getting the empowerment gain too. Not as much as us, but he's got double freaking bag of stones. <laughs> Not to mention forging hammer as well. We're probably going to lose this one. First L of the day. 
Yeah, that's fine though. We got a lot of health. I'm not too worried. Let me get both of those. Let me roll. Don't want anything here. All that sucks. Got space, five money. Selling that, a little bit of space, buying both of those next round. And we are looking pretty solid. If I could get me a deck of cards to upgrade that as well, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Not gonna put this on the field because it just doesn't really work. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter um, if I put that on the field, I don't think. Can I make this a little bit better if I turn you, do that, do this? Yes, I can, phenomenal. All right, boom, we'll roll with this. This is looking um, pretty solid, especially when this guy hatches. We'll be looking pretty damn good. Spike shield is probably our biggest worry. Triple fannied up a broom is also probably our biggest worry, but empowerment is helping us a lot. The blind is, actually maybe the blind doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know, we still won at the end of the day, so I guess it really didn't matter, huh? Gimme witch. Oh man, okay, if I could just pull. Fuck, I didn't get it. I didn't get it now. That's fine though. What's the what's what's priority here? I don't think this is priority. Not yet. Not until we get the giraffes, and then that becomes priority. This is priority. I'll get like one roll here. I think. I need space. Ooh, this is. I should have probably rolled with the deck of cards, right? This doesn't really matter except for being an activator, because we're not gaining any buffs enough or using enough buffs for this guy to actually work realistically. None of these items really matter. So I think we just keep our build the same. Honestly, maybe switching this into like here is probably better just for the sake of the 2.2 second cooldown. We can utilize that. Um, maybe this is better. Something like this potentially, but then again, dagger, right? And we also need to have a B Nan slot to go somewhere. You know what I mean? So. I guess we'll just keep it like I had it, like that. And I, I don't know, man, we're getting, what, 12 gold next round. I'm gonna take the Fanny just because it's literally the only source of space that we have. This guy's got a pretty solid build. The freaking squirrel's gonna eat us alive. We lose this for sure. We definitely lose it. We definitely lose that, damn. Um. Okay, give me this, roll for space. Better? Come on, bro. I like Fannies, but not this much. What do I do here? What do I do here? All right, here's a play. Here's a plan. Here's the plan. Hear me out. Sell you. I'm buying both of those. Got another freaking toad. I love the toads, but I cannot use you right now. Whoa. Is this worth it? Increases my healing. I'm not really healing. I don't think it is. We're not really utilizing it like that. I need to start rolling with you in my freaking deck. Okay, so plan is to try to, to just utilize this Ruby Whip as our main form of DPS since we kind of just got rid of the other form of DPS. That's the main idea of why I just did everything I just did, right? That can go there. You can go here. And then we can just do a situation like that up here, possibly. Boom. Boom, uh, we need to move you actually, that's good. That can go there and then we could go you, you up here. And I guess we, I mean, it doesn't hurt just putting it somewhere, right? It doesn't matter, I guess. So we'll put it somewhere and then I guess we'll just do that. Yeah, okay. So we're looking for a card to upgrade you and we're also looking for giraffe to get infinite heat. Those are the two things we're missing from this build. Until we find those two things, we're probably going to continue, as, continue to lose, right? Um, okay, roll. Ah, it's on sale, bro. I can't get it. We are priorities right now. We gotta worry, okay. We gotta worry about our priorities, right? So we can't get that. Good thing we got this though, which means we probably need to make some sort of space. Here? Not ideal, but at least we get the upgrade, which is going to lead us into getting infinite heat, which is what we want, right? So probably gonna lose the next one, but at least next round we'll have the, you know, the Rubu up, which is good. Unhealing build, Cauldron, Gubert, Toads, we lose. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely lose. If we just had like a giraffe, maybe, but we just don't, you know what I mean? 
Our build started strong at the beginning. Now it's kind of lacking. But hey, at least we got Ruby Chunk now, which is great. Um, ooh, Giraffe, which is good. Another Halo Lizard is good. Both of those combined is 12 gold. And we need both of them. I'm honestly thinking about getting... Nah, I can't get to this. Get rid of that. Well, then again, Empowerment is our main form of DPS, but then again... Uh, I don't know. I can get rid of the sword. I can... I, I mean, I want more shell totems. That's the only reason I still got this guy around. But... It might be worth just getting rid of the sword. Because, like, the only reason I got the blueberries is for the clovers for the giraffes right that's the only reason so i kind of don't want to get rid of this guy yeah i think that's a play i don't want to get rid of the bananas either especially since we only got two shell totems so yeah get rid of that buying this buying this this ensures that fire is our biggest buff I mean, this kind of this guy kind of does too, but yeah, this ensures that fire is our biggest buff. Um, for the giraffe to infinitely generate us heat, and then everything just gets faster. I'm glad we have oil lamp though, because we can kind of just utilize oil lamp uh, for the sake of DPS, right? Which is good, which is gonna help us out a lot. I think I'm just gonna do this just to try to make this guy as fast as possible. This also helps with oil lamp, 20% faster, 30% faster, right there. Um, the only thing we got to worry about now is pretty much filling up this toad. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, which we can do that. No, no, not that. This, which also helps because Mrs. Struggles is on there. That's on there. Um, 3.2, 3 3.5, you're faster. So we'll do this. And then I guess we'll just put those two up the front. Situation like uh, this right here. Boom, boom, boom. It's a little bit scary that dagger's not on the field because the dagger is extra DPS that we could utilize. But then again, oil lamp. And honestly, oil, maybe we don't even need to have this hail fire wizard. Because oil, I mean, if you don't get an oil lamp though, like there's games you'll go and not find a single oil lamp. <laughs> But the oil lamp gives you that, you know, that plus two at the beginning of the game, which is kind of nice. But now we're generating infinite heat, which makes everything faster. Big stuns, big damage. That's game. That's game already. Easy game. See, you see how much of a difference that made? Huge difference, right? Give me this. For five gold, do I need? No. This would be good though, but I, I'm looking for big boy space. Oh, okay. It might be time. It honestly might be time to buy Mr. Struggles. And then on top of that, we got Blood uh, blood Dagger, which is the only reason why I want you. <laughs> blood Dagger, right? Because it's going to be a melee weapon. It's going to heal us, which is going to be better survivability. Since this is a melee, it's not going to be able to heal us. Um, so yeah, that's the only reason why you have you. And, you know, we can utilize the 30% chance to stun, get this hitting twice. Only reason. But I think right now, I mean, it's only one gold off. <clears throat> I could literally sell a blueberry and get it get the combination that or by mr struggles and put that right here right in that spot i think we sell a blueberry even though i was literally just talking about oh i need blueberries i think we just sell a blueberry um and then we can just put this guy up there reserve you and we'll start <clears throat> but i do need space oh unhealing build again very similar different placement for the toads i think it's a worse placement actually Okay, I think we win this. I think they messed up with their toad placement. Honestly, yeah, they messed up with their toad placement. Them placing the toad probably like down here would probably be better. Because like, why is the pineapple there? Literally, why is the pineapple there? But yeah, good game though. Why do you, why did they have, I don't know. Anyways, let's buy big boy space. Let's buy that huge round. Probably should buy this. Less stamina usage on the shell totems is good. Uh, a Jinxie on sale is going to be good. Let's get you right there on both of those dark items. Um, and then we could just replace this like so. Putting this inside of the uh, storage coffin is probably the best idea, but thinking at the same time, I kind of like the setup we got going on. I'm not really trying to rearrange anything that drastically. Um, so 
yeah, I think we just keep what we got. At least we got Bloody Dagger now, which is great. Especially if I can get me like another Blood Amulet to put around it. Just for that extra four heal. Would be really, really nice. Oh, going to get some blind build. Especially, this is actually really, really bad for us. Especially, well, I mean, blind is over now, though. Now we're coming back. Now we're winning. Beautiful. How did they get 10 blind on them? What? I don't inflict blind, do I? Yeah, how did you get 10 blind on you? Mrs. Struggles? You inflicted 10 blind? Am I tripping? Hold on, what? They changed you? Inflict Flaypeed on debuff, 35%. Oh, it's that 35% chance. Wow, okay, well, that's the thing. <laughs> I was like, how the hell did you get 10 blind on you? Did we hit for 35% chance on all 10 of that blind? Like, what? All right, let me buy both of you. Another big boy space I should probably take for a shizzle. I don't know where to put you, but we're taking you. Because, you know, for shizzle. You feel us? Um... I'll put you over here. So, Birdie, I need you to be like, oh, that's such a good spot. That's literally triggering everything that is important except for the oil lamp. Other than that, though, literally triggering everything that's important. So, yeah, you're staying right there. Um, This can just do that. You can do whatever. And this can be here. Marvelous. I wonder if it's, I feel like this is better. Even though I'm losing 10%, I mean, this is up to 40, right? After six seconds, this is already at the 10%. I don't know. I feel like it's better. I don't know. Unless I move birdie. Like back by one, but that's not worth it. It's not on a dragon anymore. Sag. This <laughs> is Sag. It'll be fine. It'll be, at least, you know, at least it's 20% faster at the end of the day, right? So. It'll be fine. Probably should get that. Turn that into a corrupted helmet, which is going to be really, really good for us. Do you insta proc? No, you don't. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm so glad you don't insta proc, but that is a nice combination you got going on. Just don't kill me too fast. Don't kill me too fast. Let me survive so I can kill you fast. Awesome. <laughs> good game, my good sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me buy you. Getting that for space. Nothing here excites me. Do you excite me? I could double down on the oil lamp action. I don't know. Do you excite me? I actually don't know if you excite me or not right now. I don't know. I just realized this gives accuracy to you, so the blind really didn't matter. I actually don't know if you excite me. I mean, I guess you kind of do for the increase in damage, right? I'll reserve you. I don't mind. I don't know where I'm gonna put you. Kind of, kind of don't know where. I'm put, unless I get more space. Whoa! Why well, you have so many dragon claws and a spike staff, my sir? And that's your only weapon. Even though you're gaining empowerment, you could uh, one dagger would make a huge difference for you, sir. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Get out of berserker mode. Get out of berserker mode. Please get out of berserker mode. Please. Oh my God! Eight health. Never mind. Twenty-three spikes, bro. How much damage did you do with spikes? God damn it! Thirty-nine. That last thirty-nine damage. How much damage did my dagger do? Hold up, bro. I might sell you. 66? I don't know, bro. I don't... You didn't even heal for that much. All right. Correction, guys. Dagger might not actually be worth it. I don't know. I don't know. Dagger actually might not be worth it. That just made me sad. Losing that. Um, You're going... To, we're going to have to switch it up a little bit. Because I need you. And I'm, I might as well just buy these two. For the sake of space. Ooh. Speaking of. Getting that second toad would be so freaking good, actually. Speaking of the dagger, bro. Should we just do this without a dagger? Should we? I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm not utilizing the ruby chunk for its fullest ability. Having that 30% 30, 30 chance of stun with a blood dagger or like two blood daggers would be nice survivability at the end of the day. But then again, I mean, I am getting healing from the toads. You know what I mean? So like, and we just seen us losing because of spikes with the blood dagger and the blood dagger didn't do that much damage. It didn't heal us that much for vampirism. You know, I mean, having more and more vampiric item that plus four heal would help 
You know what I mean? Especially if it's another blood dagger. But I should probably sell it for seven gold and just buy this. I think that's a play. Even though we literally spent, what, like 13 gold on that. Okay, bro. And then you give me another dagger. Whatever. <laughs> F you game. We're going to make it work, though. We're going to make this work. So we're putting you here. You're getting rotated. You're getting put here. Which means this entire board needs to shift up by one. Because that's super duper important right now. So we'll do a little situation like that. Right? Well, like this rather. I mean, I guess I could move you up by one. Yeah, let's just move you up by one. And just do that. Um, You... Oops. Okay, you can go here, which means you're going up there. That's staying there. And then... Because that other slot doesn't matter. <laughs> um, boom. We could put you guys right here. You can go here and you can just go wherever you want, realistically. Moving both of these down for that. Um, this needs to be a rabbit whenever I get one of those. Hopefully. So now you are double oil lamped up, which is great. Uh, this goes here. What are we going to do with these guys, though? I guess I could, like... I guess I could do this. Because then they're, they're still inside the birds. Or the bird. Not S. Should I move you back by one? Just so you, you can affect the giraffes? Probably, right? I need you to affect the giraffes, so... Moving you back by one is probably smart. Okay, um... This will go... Here. And then she will go there, which is perfect. Because she's inside and then... 20% faster right there. That's nice. Okay. Uh, and then we'll just do that. You can go there. You can go there. And then you can go inside the bird. Okay. I think this is solid. Yeah. I think this is really, really good. I like this. Um, Honestly, I could just buy you. To put you up here. And then we've got like three slots right there for full space. I do want to get a rabbit. The only thing we're missing is a rabbit. That's really about it. Ooh, what is this? Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Got a prismatic sword with a lot of holy damage increase. It's pretty solid. And then we've got this guy with the increase in healing. It's got burning sword. Don't know why you have burning sword. I feel like burning sword is probably holding you back as far as stamina usage goes. Because this guy's going to do all your damage. This dude's 8 to 10. This dude is a 23 to 29. Lots of damage. He had a lot of health, though. Keep, in that, keep that in mind. He started with 506. We're at 290. As long as we could just speed up and be faster, we might have this in the bag. Like, we're already almost tied. 42 damage. 42 damage. Stunning him. Stun locking him. He's stun locked. He's stun locked. That's game. Once you get stun locked by the Ruby Chunk, bro, that's game. You're getting hit every 0.4 seconds for a 30% chance of stun. You're not going to have a chance to do anything, right? Even like 100. Hey, we're doing 100 damage per second. Like, we do not need that dagger. It did then again, every time that stun happens, the daggers, we, you know, put some health on us. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's a thing. That is damn near, that's a thing. Are you, oh, I forgot about dark. We have so many dark items. Forgot about that. Hold up. And the holy items, but we don't, we don't heal. So holy items don't matter. The only thing that matters is the dark items for the random debuff. I mean... It is kind of just the random debuff at the end of the day. I don't know. Then again, gaining one buff of each type is kind of nice, bro. I don't know. I do want to buy you, though. Ooh, that's a good spot. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let me know, guys. Let me. I'm not going to buy it, but let me know in the comments if you would have bought this item. In this very moment would you have bought this item do you guys think i should have bought the item like do you guys think it'll actually help within the build i feel like it only helps in healing builds because you get that five percent increase in healing or like i mean i guess debuff builds just the random debuff inflicted is nice but like the mana doesn't matter vampirism doesn't matter because we don't have a melee weapon so like you guys let me know if you would have bought that item or not i'm actually curious 
Um, should I buy you? I'll buy you. There's the rabbit toe, and then we'll get Mr. Struggles. And that'll be our build. I don't think we're gonna have enough money to buy all three of those items, but that'll be our build. What do you got here? Interesting. I don't think I've seen a build like this before. Bloodthorn with Mana Thirst on a Pyromancer. On a Pyromancer utilizing Phoenix. Interesting. Interesting stuff. I forgot these are ranged weapons, by the way. That's probably why that Sun Shield activated, because I'm like, what else would I have activated? Well, then again, I don't know. This Sun Shield did go off, though. I wanna... It did go off. Yeah, I don't know what their build is, but I'm pretty sure we're going to win. <laughs> very, very positive we're taking a W here. Especially now that we're... Once once the blueberries start generating clovers for us, yeah, it's game. For sure. Alright, we're buying you. This is gonna go right there. Um, yeah, we don't have enough money. We literally need to cough up like four gold. So yeah, we're not doing that. I'll put you there though. And then Birdie It's not in the well no. Oh no, you actually go up there. Okay, that might help a little bit actually. Because then Birdie just needs to go there. No. Birdie's not hitting Ruby Chunk. Birdie needs to go here. Or here. I guess I could just move the stones. Like, you know, that's not horrible. Even though none of the giraffes are being touched. That kind of sucks, actually. I don't like that. Um, Here. At least one giraffe is being touched, right? Here is this is such a good spot right here. This is such a good spot. Everything is being touched that matters, bro. Like, it is such a good spot. But I want to utilize the uh, the star items gain ten buffs, heal for ten, because this gives you three buffs every five seconds. Not to mention it's fifteen percent faster, and it gets just faster because of the heat. I want to utilize that because that's survivability right there. I don't really want to move that away. So I guess we're just like, I feel like that's more important than just a bird being there. So like this is the next big, big best spot though. This is the next best spot in my opinion. Next best spot. Um, Can I put you inside some fannies? I could double fanny you. Yeah, we'll just do this. Double fanny you, make you even faster. Do that there. You guys can go here just because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you can go there, though. Um, and then we'll just rotate these. Put that there. All right, this is the build. If you guys don't know how it works, it's a little bit. You can do different variations. I've done this build without the oil lamps. You don't really need the oil lamps, but I guess it helps with accuracy and just early DPS. I don't know. I bought them both on sale. If they weren't on sale, I wouldn't have bought them. But basically, the way that this build works is we're it's an infinite heat generating build because we're utilizing the giraffes for the infinite heat gain and we're getting our clovers from the toads because they give you one clover every four seconds um which is good and not to mention the uh the gaining of buffs because these gain three buffs right both of those and then that helps with healing rabbit gains you three buffs that helps with healing and then the ruby chunk obviously gains you one buff every two seconds but that also helps with healing so your main healing is coming from the toads your heat generation is coming from the misfortunes your clover generation is coming from the toads and the uh the blueberries because the toads also gain you mana so you're gaining mana from both the toads plus two blueberries which i used to have three but you know got rid of it um but yeah once the once you get up to that 10 threshold you're gonna be gaining a lot more clovers and um, the giraffes are just gonna be able to just survive off of that alone, right? And then, uh, you know, Ruby Chunch is getting faster, faster, faster. Eventually, your enemy is gonna be stun locked because it's gonna be hitting every 0.4 seconds. And there's gonna be a point where they're just not gonna be able to do anything to you because you're stun locked, or they're stun locked rather. Um, but yeah, that's basically how the build works. Whoa, this guy's got a really interesting build. Let me pause this actually. Really interesting. He's got. Okay, he's got triple oil lamps on a falcon blade. Not to mention the 12% chance, which is basically both of these are 24%, which you combine as a 48%. He has a 48%. Basically, he's got a 50% chance to do plus six damage and gain one heat, which is actually pretty solid. Um, don't know why he got double corrupted armor. Maybe for these guys, for his Falcon Blade. No, the Falcon Blade isn't 40% faster. Why did you do this? 
I guess to make his glowing crowns faster and the cauldron faster. Because the cauldron's pretty fucking fast. That's a one second cauldron. 40% faster because of both of those. You know what I mean? So maybe that's the reason why. I don't know, but I guess he's just using this for heat generation. He has no potions or anything. So using this for heat generation, making your Falcon Blade faster. I guess that's like the gist of it. Using mana orbs, because, you know, Falcon Blade and mana orb is good. And then you get mana from this. Mana orb Procky. Not to mention he's got double glowing crown. He's got a pretty solid build going for him. This Falcon Blade is dangerous, though. As soon as the damage gets up on that thing, nasty. Absolutely nasty. Our best bet is just stunning the shit out of him. I'm uh, stunning the shit out of him. I'm going to put it on point four, though. There goes his first one. How much damage you at right now? 11 to 12? Okay. He's getting up there. Yeah, he's definitely getting up there. Not to mention that blind builds do not work on this guy because he's got so much accuracy just from all the oil limbs. Now he's at 17 to 18. I think the second glowing crown proc too, which is good for us. But now we're at 58 heat, right? Stunned for 0.4. Yeah, that's game over. That's game over. We just game over. We got 80 heat. We're hitting for 40 damage per. 45 to 50 damage and he's at what 25 i mean he's basically doing the exact same amount of damage because he's hitting twice but our cooldown is a lot a lot a lot faster you know what i mean um his cooldown is basically what a, a 0.6 and ours is a okay well we got the same cooldown i don't know we got the same cooldown because it hits twice i guess i don't know either way we won and they didn't you know and we got a lot more buffs so that's pretty much how the build works i kind of do like this I feel like this build could be better. I don't think him going for Corrupted Armor was the smartest play. I think that was a waste of money. Personally, I think that was a waste of money. But going Falcon Blade, I think he should have probably put a Goobert in this. A nice little solid little Goobert of any sorts would have helped, honestly. Especially a blind Goobert would have helped. Same setup, just a blind Goobert on that guy. Um, Oil Lamp is pretty solid. Mana Orb was pretty solid. You just got to get those guys to proc, you know? But yeah, going, I don't even think you should have went armors, personally. But yeah, that's pretty much the build. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And um, yeah, you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day.